every Thursday, I'm like, this isn't going to be a good one. We can't. How can we keep doing this? One Holy of them, Spirit. one of them is bound to fail, and they never fail. Because you know word. why? Because maybe God's blessing us. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Boom, 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 boom. I am Spencer Cartier. And I am Juan Wanamaker. Juan Wanamaker. And this here is Frank, who just got done wakeboarding, it looks like. Um, you know what? <laughs> he's on the go. He's on the go, but he's <laughs> always on time. And yes. That's what I appreciate about you. Appreciates. That's what I appreciate about you. It's from Letter Kenny. <laughs> You're pretty good at wrestling there, Katie, and that's what I appreciate about you. Oh, and funny, I gave it an Irish accent, and um, they're Canadian. They're Canadian. And there's lots of Irish and Scots in Canada. Well, Therefore, the first thing you think of. The first thing you think of is the French. I think of the Irish and the Scots, but I see now that I should be thinking of the French. French Canadian. You never no. hear Irish Canadian or Scottish Canadian. I know, because they're just Canadian. Well, they they all came there. Well, it's just another, you know, if you're heading to the North America. It'd be no, they were actually to... sent there. Um, I'm having allergic eyes, so that's one thing. She had those allergic eyes. <laughs> I want to see your allergic eyes. That's a song that you don't know, Angel Eyes. But um, when the poorer people were f- from Ireland and Scotland were fleeing to um, America, to Canada, to America, to the Americas. To the Americas. Canada was actually offering a deal. A little the, discount. For the people who had some money. Mm. And they said, come here. We, we have land. and How does that make sense? A deal for those who had money? Either it's a deal for those who didn't have money or it's a fair price. I didn't say it's a deal for those who didn't have money. No, that's what I'm saying. You said it's a deal for those who did have money. Right. Why the people who did have money need a deal? I guess. Why wouldn't they get prime prime? <laughs> Well, that's like saying if there was a deal happening in um, I see what you're saying. Florida. So, so like yeah. the, the Irish would flow to America with nothing, with right. no deal. Yeah. With we'll, 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 deal or no deal. We'll, we'll eat rocks. Yes. But in Canada, it's like if you have some money. Yes. You, so maybe if you, you had a, get more land. Maybe if you had a lot of money, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't budge from the UK. But if you were like like the people who went west in America. So the they went there and they built up farms and companies and things like that so they were better off up there they were better off in the great white north um and it still is connected to the queen maybe that's why i'm saying it it's not connected to to uh who's the french guy i don't know ah uh, i do but i can't remember probably jacques or something jacques Cousteau, maybe <laughs> you don't know him he's a deep sea guy deep sea Hey guys, it is Thursday, June seventeenth. Yes, and the other day we were talking about Ju- uh, Juneteenth. Juneteenth, June nineteenth, and we were confused and so what forth. What it was? So we're we're not going to be here for. We're not going to be here. Okay. Wait. It might be Saturday. It's it's Thursday, so Friday is the eighteenth. Saturday is right. the nineteenth. We're not going to be here, so we can say now that I didn't investigate it really, but Should I. We- talk about tomorrow on fun friday well i just want to tell you because i'm thinking of it now i don't even know if it's true maybe we could look it up as a headline popped up that said that america is going to officially recognize officially it. recognize it mm-hmm. nice um so yeah we, we can talk about it tomorrow too we'll, we'll, yeah we'll get better maybe, facts maybe tomorrow will be a, a little episode on it mm-hmm. uh, it's a lot to talk about a lot to dive in i'm up for a name change probably not in the place to give one but oh for juneteenth no, I'm not a fan of the name. I know. Me neither. Not a fan at all. No. Juneteenth. It's... You know what? I understand that it's probably not going to change, but... It might. It might get a... It might, like, a Independence reboot. Day is the name of 4th of July. Yeah. So it might be, might be another Independence Day. Uh, we One can only hope. But it's not Juneteenth, guys. It's June 17th. Out of seven in there. Lucky sevens. Let's go to the casino. There's 99 days left until autumn. That's a weird and not fun <laughs> stat. I know. I saw, summer didn't even start yet. I know. I saw it on Instagram and um, Instagram 
Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. It's Instagram to me. It goes between um, uplifting me and depressing me. But um, it was somebody who loves the fall, and they said, "Yeah, we're in double digits." Like, so yesterday it was a hundred days. That away. person must not be fun at parties. Ugh. Once it like literally summer has not started yet, and I feel like it's flying by. Like I feel like I'm missing out on summer when it hasn't even started yet. Listen, I also saw on Instagram. It's my only source of information. So you get all your news. <laughs> that um, the only reason we like summer is because we have been brainwashed by our our um, employers, you know, all through the our, our lifetime. You know, that it's like how we talked about people hating Wednesday or loving Wednesday. You know, it's everyone wants the weekend because that means you're not working. Yeah. So everyone loves summer, not because it's sunny. I don't because- believe that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. You know what? Let's continue this, but we're going to be reading a Bible verse today because it's Walk Through Thursday. Thursday. All right, quickly roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun because Walk Through Wednesday just begun. Sorry, my phone kept going off and I just I needed to roll the intro first so that people weren't like, this is so um, unprofessional of you. So you were saying? I don't get it. What's that have to do with the phone? I wanted them to know that I will eventually be reading Bible verses, and I didn't forget that my phones are here. I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> but wait, what were you saying? Because I was going to add on to it. Um, I can't remember. Oh, wow. You can't remember. <laughs> ah, this I got is, so scared with the dance sequence. Yeah, this is why you don't roll the intro in the middle of things. Yeah. We were talking about the summer. You said it was fake. I, I said that yeah. you only think you love the summer. You, you you can love October just as much. It's just... No, it's nonsense. It's nonsensical. If you lived in a place like maybe Ecuador, mm-hmm. I'd agree. But the weather, like it's the greatest weather. Mm. And that's not arguable. I think I made an argument on this podcast before. Anyone who says they like winter, okay, you know what? That's cool. I like winter too. I like to snowboard and stuff. But you have to find things to enjoy in the winter. Yeah. Summer, you don't need to have anything to enjoy it. What is the beach really? A lot of people go to the beach and they don't go in the water. Yeah. They, they sit out tarps off you know like you don't need clothes to make yourself be able to survive Mm -hmm. and you just sit in the in the god's glorious sun okay show me the 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 not moving enjoyment of winter show me the go sit outside without your clothes on because don't put on extra they don't ask yeah i see what you're saying if like if you you sit on the outside on the chair yeah. i saw you today yeah. you said you were getting your vitamin d right why in december did i never see you there was it the government who convinced you to sit out there <laughs> no so whoever told you that is a unfollow num- them yeah it's a numbskull it's a numbskull on instagram summer is the best because the weather is the best and it's it's scientific mm-hmm. it makes the sunlight makes you happier it boosts serotonin. Mm-hmm. You know, it, people with their seasonal depression, that goes away. Yeah. Did, did the government conspiracize that? Not buying it. Not here on the Crow and Crow podcast. <sighs> okay. Well, we've already introduced it, guys, but it is Walk Through, through Thursday, Thursday, which means one thing. We open up the Bible. The Bible is open. And we find a verse. Yeah. We find one. Or this week we were given one. Right. Thank you. To our loyal subscriber who said, break down this verse. I'm tired of you guys choosing your own verses. No, they didn't say, I'm tired of you guys. They said, how, in about, addition. how about in addition to? We get a Bible verse and we break it down. We slow it down. It's slow motion. We slow it down and we break it down sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Get excited. So today we will be looking at this is where the phone comes in because I told you last yesterday we're going paperless. You know, we can we could it's recycled paper. What is the problem? You want to put the paper companies out of business? Yes. Just like I want to put the oil companies out of business. Oh, yeah. I want a world with where all the oils in the ground and all the trees are standing standing tall. And I'm on my tablet. Okay. Which I think it, like actually mines like silver and stuff, but isn't the silver that oh, all the, the electric car? The like, in, the in, you mean the inner workings yeah, of the I tablet? Think the silver yeah. Silver because of EV. And what's that like really really expensive metal that's hiding in there? Preston told us about it yeah. before. Yeah, that might be what I'm thinking of. I want to say like cadmium or something. No, that's a battery. I don't know. Whatever. 
Okay, here we go. So we're going to be looking at One Chronicles. That's OT. Yes. And, I, and I'm not talking overtime. I'm talking Old Testament. Chronicles is the last book. When when you're looking at the Jewish Bible and the... Um, Isn't it just the Old Testament Bible or the Torah? Well... Does anyone call it the Jewish Bible? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and this is a loose fact, so don't, you know... Don't ha- don't engrave it in. <laughs> that should be our our bio. Loose facts. <laughs> loose facts. Um, so the the Old Testament and the Jewish Bible they run together and they're holding hands. This is where the Jewish Bible is. The, let's go of the Christian Old Testament. It's the last book that's going to. Um, what well, comes after that? It's not in the Torah. I don't know. That's but something I read about Chronicles. There's something we read something about Chronicles. I read about Chronicles. It's a loose fact. Sue me. And the reason it's called Chronicles. Of Narnia. Right. Chronicles just means like you, you chronicled something, you listed something, you recorded something. Okay. You, and so if you, the 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 um, verse we're going to look at as, as well as, and there's, there's, there's two books of Chronicles. Yeah. This is book one. So book one of Chronicles, book two of Chronicles. Um, it is one of these. You probably had a blast with it. <laughs> it's listing. Oh, the, oh was sun, it just the sun, yeah, the chron- chronological yeah. yes. order? Yes. Just oh, wow. Yeah, that listing was. Listing people's names who had children, who had children, who had children, who had children. Yeah. This verse that, that has been submitted is a little oasis. And it makes <laughs> some sentences that make sense. But it is sandwiched between a list of names and a list of names. Yes. Okay, guys. So we're looking at Chronicles 4.10. One Chronicles. One Chronicles, not two Chronicles. One Chronicles 410. Yeah. Shall I just read it? Go ahead. I'll, ju- I'll just read it. And J- Jabez, how do you say that? J- Jabez? I've heard of Jabez, Jabez, but maybe Jabez or... Um, Jabez. Jabes. Jabes. <laughs> Jabez. I think it's Jabez. Jabez. I think it's Jabez. And Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Or enlarge my territory, and that thine hand might. I be... I see you're in the old, in the, you're, you're in that old timey talking Bible yeah. section. <laughs> <laughs> enlarge my. You read yours, and then I'll read mine. Okay, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, and that it may not grieve me, and God granted me him which he requested. Okay. Wait, gr- granted him that which he requested. So I'm going to read it. We never do King James when we're doing Walkthrough Thursday. No. I, don't, I don't know what I did. That's all right. If, if we were, if we hadn't gone paperless. You know what? Guys, going green is not always easy. <laughs> okay? There's going to be some hiccups. Jabez Good. was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him. Pause. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm on nine. Pause. I'm so sorry. What are you doing? I'm on nine. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're going paperless, okay? We saved the world, but it's going to take Let us me just read 9 and 10. It's, 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 it's okay. a block. Okay. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Yes, that's why his name's Jabez. That's it means po- pain. <laughs> that's the part that's not, that we're not talking about. No. All that's right. important to the, All right. to the verse. Yeah. Number 10 is the one we're talking about. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Yeah. So that's the verse, guys. And you know what we're about to do? We're about to break it down. So who was Jabez? Jabez was a guy. I don't really remember the story, but I can kind of give some things. Okay. He was the most loved of the brothers. Yeah, it's weird because um, his mother bore him in pain. Yeah, but it's ooh, this when God you have a silicone him. when you have a silicone case, it just slides. It just slides the whole time. Um, I was showing you because it would be easier to see than yours. It's weird from what I saw because they're listing the names, just name, 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 yeah. name, name. He's not in that list, but then he gets this little he gets the this prayer little, of Jabez. He gets the prayer of Jabez in the middle of nowhere. So yeah. Um, he was the... Why did he get the extra? Why did he get the... Why did he get the... Stop everybody. I got to tell you a little something about Jabez. You know what? There's probably an answer to that. And probably. I don't think we the people <laughs> have it. All right. Loose facts over here. Yes. We're loose. So, so move on. basically, he was the... the his, He was born in pain. God was involved in liking him. Um, yeah. He was the most desired of his brothers. He was better than his brothers. Better than his brothers. And then he... He talked to God and God said, you know what? I'm going to God answered. God answered him. Okay. 
And that's all you need to know about the so history. So what people do is they repeat, just like um, they the twenty third Psalm. Yes. We repeat it so yes. that we 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 take ownership of the mm-hmm. of the verse. This is the word of God. It's it's his um, communication with God, but we repeat it because we, we want to take. It. Yeah. Hey, you answer job as, you know, uh, the monkey see, monkey do. In a way. Job as see, Spencer do. <laughs> All right. Let me look at yours. All right, we're going to go first line. So people, people use it as a mantra. People use it as a recitation. People use it as a prayer. Yes. Okay. Job has cried out to the Lord of Israel. Do we need to break that one part down? No. Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Now, here's the thing with this. Okay. Solomon, David's son, he asked for wisdom. Okay. Mm, I could go on if I knew more. People asked for things. One thing that is stands out with Jabez here that people talk about is that he didn't ask for anything. He gave it up to God okay. to bless him. Bless me. Please bless me. Ble- like, what does that mean? God bless you. He might have sneezed. <laughs> so he's keeping it open-ended. God has a plan for everyone. and He trusts him. He trusts him. And he says, your divine knowledge is better than mine. Right. I'm not going to say I want money because maybe my life isn't meant to have money. Right. I'm not going to ask for, for this because maybe I'm not meant to have this. Right. But... All he asks is that you bless me. Now, where are we at? I see why you read 9 and 10. And they really lump it together there. They do. So, bless me. And, and, me enlar- t- and enlarge my, my territory. territory. So, he does ask for a little something. But that's just like, uh, enlarge my territory. It's still not asking for anything. It's a, yeah. it's just expand what you have going for me. Right. Like He has territory. Yeah. So, yeah. so whatever you bless me with. Make it big, enlarge my territory, like l- allow me to spread my wings and fly. Right. Um, let your hand be with me. So same thing, like okay. just always be with me. Yeah. Bless me. It's a very general prayer, and I think that's what people like about okay. it. Okay. Like anyone really can say it. And keep me from harm or from sin, so that I will be free from pain. Now here is where it's interesting. Okay. So. Keep me from sin. Yeah. We say that stuff. with the Our Father. Yeah. And it's one part of this, you know, it's like, do good for me and also keep me from doing bad. Yes. Right. So, keep me safe and don't let me even put myself into harm's way. So this may be the most interesting part of this prayer, right? This next, this ne- this part right here. Okay. It's so that I will be free from pain. Only because people draw parallels mm-hmm. between his name oh. and what he's saying there. Oh, so so make me different than how you made me. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying oh. that, that's, that's what he's saying. I'm just saying his name is pain. Yeah, and he's saying keep me away from pain. So they made a point of telling us that his name was pain, mm-hmm. and then that he, he was born of he, pain. He grows up, and he's communicating with God, and he said, "Please take the pain away from me." Is that, I yeah, I'm. I don't know. I I didn't really do research on this, guys. All I did was read the that's Bible. Okay, because it's like um. So my question is this. Fresh fresh take. My question is this, guys. Okay. I might be completely off on a historic level, but on a Spencer level, I think I'm on to something. Let's pretend like he's not talking about ow pain. Pain. What if he's talking about the earthly world himself? And so what he says is let your hand be with me and keep me away from sin or harm so that I will so that I will be. Oh. Free. This is deep. From pain. So that one day so I will that leave. One, one day I'll leave. Jabez back behind, and I and the, I will be free the from true this. True Jabez will go to I heaven. I will be free from this vessel, and my soul will be free. I'll, oh wow! Keep me from sin, so I can go to heaven. Is that what he's saying? I think it might be what he's saying. I don't know. It. it, it why? Wouldn't make why sense. else? It wouldn't make sense to to be to be chronicling just names. Stop, because some guy wanted a bigger backyard. Yeah. Right, it wouldn't make any sense. He's he's honored over. And he has his, a weird name. He's honored over his brothers, mm-hmm. um, so he's already blessed on earth. Even though, if you focus on the fact that why his mother named him that, and then what he's asking to be free from, I think you have something here. You think there's something? And there? like I said, like you just said, if if um, 
greater historians than we have something to say about it. That's just their opinion. That's just your opinion. Say it to my face. <laughs> this is your... I got Frank behind me. <laughs> this is your inspiration. And I really like it. Yeah. And so when people pray, so even territory doesn't... So if pain doesn't have to be ouch, territory doesn't have to be... Um, land. Land. Yeah. It could be your... What? Your... Everything that's in your life, your surroundings. Well, yeah. I mean, if you look at the other version, right? It's... um. And enlarge my coast, which is even oh, right. even a little different. So right. it, it's sort of like my boundaries. Like, you know, yeah. when, when we say like right. how much you can perceive and stuff and you draw a circle and it's like, I only know what's going on around me right. here. But then when you... Like a baby, when you get out of sight, you're out of their world. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So is he saying, you know, allow me to perceive... Is, is job as a whole lot deeper than we thought? Yeah, there has been some um, controversy <clears throat> with the prayer of Jabez because different um, different denominations or sects, CCTS, sects of Christians. That's what you send your grandma on weekends. <laughs> what? Um, have, like I said, really adopted it. And, and other people have scalded them and said, you're praying for riches. You're praying for, mm. um, you're telling God like, give you you know stuff like this but give me give me never get how dare they how dare you um just look at it one way the way you're looking at it is has nothing to do with land has nothing to do with land or demanding or or, <clears throat> or even being free from true pain being free from true pain yeah you know? it's like job was he free from pain no god didn't free him from pain but when he lived his f- true life he right. was free from job right so it's a different take we're taking on it can you read me it again the whole thing i didn't even finish oh you didn't no oh well then we still have something uh, to explore we still have something to explore oh, i okay. thought it was finished this one will be kind of hard to really to dive. yeah and god granted his request and god granted his request and god granted his request so asking you shall be given asking you shall receive i think is what knocking should... you shall answer i don't know Close the door and two more will be also closed. Open a window. Shut Open a window, <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> um, asking you shall receive. So he uh, he he said, um, hello, please bless me. Please bless me. Expand my territory. Expand my territory. And take away the pain? L- yeah, take away the pain. Or no, uh, allow me not to sin. Let your oh, hand, allow me not to sin. Let your hand be with me and keep me Keep me safe from, from harm. harm. So that will free um, me. And and it is dancing all over the Bible, right? Because yeah, there's there's parallels a yeah. couple of places to like uh, Moses when he said, I think actually, um, it might have been, I forget which line. One of them is uh, like from what Moses would say to God, but what, what was it? Maybe we just cried out to the God of Israel the way it was like that, or that you bless that you would bless me in large way. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing over there. Uh, over here speaking in tongues. I know. Um, I like it a lot. Yeah. It's um, nice. And it's just interesting how he, he asks God to bless him, to keep him safe. And it talks about um, his true self. Yeah. And... Can I see it? I don't know what's happening. We're losing. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, losing. we're losing steam. We're losing steam. The Holy Spirit's leaving us. <laughs> we're losing steam. You're saying, what the heck are you guys talking about? I don't about? know. And uh, whoever requested <laughs> it, please give us a second. Because the problem, like I said, with the 23rd Psalm, I was so familiar with it yeah. that I was like, I had all these thoughts and feelings well, yeah, and I feel attachments. Like, I feel like a lot of times we talk about the whole background. And one of the tough things with this is, like you said, it's in Chronicles. And yeah. so it's... So... Uh, 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 uh. Um, Jabez was more honorable honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Yep. So we want to be like Jabez. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think in general, now that we read it, we broke it down. What I what I like about this, what I appreciate about this Bible verse is the general gen, general gen, general generality generality is that a word? I don't know. Let's make it one. 
the generality of it. Okay. Um, like in the begin, like the begin, like I said, the first line is yeah. um, "God of Israel, bless me." Right. And keeping it simple and sweet, and then obviously, like we said, we're going to look at territory, not as, or you can call it coast, not as physical land. Right. I don't need a bigger backyard, but enlarge my 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 mental territory of, right. of, of what i can see what i can perceive right you know ears and eyes open and all that and also my um i was going to say something else about territory my mind my 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 <laughs> and um don't get hung up on the god of israel the words of that because our oh, god I, is that, our god yeah that's what it was like from wait no that wasn't and they're saying that it's not, like because at the time there were uh all these Many gods. Yeah, and yeah. Like it's just like golden saying, calf. It, it, you're, you're trying to identify. It, it, it. Yeah, it's like when you, when you say when you say the god of Ab- or Ab- the god of Abraham. It's like yeah, you're saying okay. The one we, god. When, when you say yeah, the god of Ab- or Abrahamic religions, it's nothing to do with that. Abraham was part of the divine. It, well, mm-hmm. not you know like he was him and God were cool and all, but it was it clarifies. Okay, yes, the same person that Abraham first had a covenant with that's the god we're talking about right because god could just mean a god right um and i just like it for many reasons many people could use the prayer um like we talked about before saying any of the words of god is a prayer in itself regardless um you could just say one line of it you know um keep me from harm (laughs) it's all you could say but but i you know what i kind of like this prayer for what do you like um, this prayer for for people who who want to not be who they think they have to be so if he's if he's job as you were born in pain you were caused uh, pain or our pain and it's like you know what can i be free me from this burden that yeah. was put on to can me can i not be it and god fight, said sure you fight, don't have to be fight it. your genetics right like yeah it's like you're worthless your mom's like you're worthless yeah. sounds like my mom um they do <laughs> instagram i'm gonna have to stop saying instagram and start saying like the Cornell Quarterly or something. <laughs> they always talk about these generational curses, you know, yeah. break the generational curse. Yeah. Or are you the one that's going to do it? Um, but, you know, if you say to God, you know what, I'm known as the misfit. I'm known as the screw up. I, can I not be? God doesn't yeah. say, Because in Chronicles, right, there, he's saying, you are this person. You came from this person. Ah. This person's following you. And this is like, can I not? And I'm it's not, like. Free me from, from being pain. Sure. Yeah. You don't have to be. I'll grant your request. Yeah, no, it's it sort of reminds me of the Ten Commandments with um like thou shalt not kill and, and some people will look at that and say if you kill some if you destroy someone's reputation, you killed their name. Right. And and you, you broke that. And this is sort of the same way, not in a killed the name, but right. it's can you free me from that name? Right. Um it's not my like I'm not saying I don't want to be this guy anymore it's right. i don't want to have that name attached mm-hmm. i don't want to have the reputation of being pain free me from right. that stigma so the beauty of the living word is that you could look at this as a prayer to increase your prosperity which is which i think a lot of people do but you could also look at it as a prayer of forgiveness yes a prayer of new life new life and it's any or tell us what you would like it to be for you because it can be that for you yeah, it, it, it's nice. It's general. It's like sort of in a way like the twenty third Psalm, where right. um, you find few places that this can apply. Because, like I said, it's it's talking about blessing, like right. just bless me. So use this prayer, prayer job as great prayer. Thank you to our great subscriber who sent it in. We hope that we didn't ruin it for you. <laughs> Listen. It is the prayer of Jabez with the croak and crow twist on it. And that's what we do. So if you if you see an upcoming or you see a previous walk through Thursday and you say, oh, I already know that. I know that prayer. Or I know that verse or whatever. But did you hear it with a twist? It's like painting with a twist. You don't know. It's Bible with a twist. You don't know what's in these cups. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know how we interpreted it. Interpreted it. Interpreted it. But that's been walk. Through Thursday, guys. Oh, man. Another good one. Every Thursday, I'm like, this isn't going to be a good one. We can't. How can we keep doing this? One Holy of them, Spirit. One of them is bound to fail, and they never fail. Because you know why? Because maybe God's blessing us. I don't know. We ask, and it looks like we've true, been receiving. True, true, 
But tomorrow is fill in the blank Friday or fun Friday or well, last week it was. Table for two twins wants it to be Frank Friday. Frank Friday. <laughs> I like that. And we don't talk. Frank does. Oh, my goodness. So yeah. we just cap- I'll have to figure out captions then on. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> on um. He's waiting for Frank Friday. <laughs> Till tomorrow, go and um pray. Yeah. Go and pray. Go pr- go learn the, the prayer of Jabez by heart. Also learn one how to Chronicles four one 10. Chronicles four ten. Also learn how to pronounce a name and <laughs> can you write it phonetically down in the comments? Um, I think it's Jabez. Like, now it sounds so normal. I have been saying it. I know. But in the beginning, I was I was big team Jabez. But uh, yeah, it's been real and it's been fun. Peace. <laughs>